Welcome! And welcome to the first in what's going to be a regular monthly series, continuing for the foreseeable future, where I unbox a subscription box from a great company. I have used them before. Uh, the one and only time was about two years ago, maybe a bit less. I'm talking about the Retro. What happened was, the owner of the Retro, lovely guy called Peter, he'd put like a survey up on his Instagram story just asking sort of old and current customers what they thought of their boxes, their purchases. So I answered a few of the questions and he actually got back to me in the DMs and he said, oh, thank you for your feedback. Thank you for your suggestions on how to improve and what you would have liked to see. Can we interest you in coming back to our monthly vinyl record subscription box? And I said, well, yeah, I'd like to do it again. So he said, well, look, because I know you've got a YouTube channel, he would have seen my original video from back in the day where I unboxed the vinyl subscription. He said, how about I offer you a discount and I offer your viewers, your YouTube subscribers a discount as well. And I said, yeah, that'd be amazing. Thank you so much. So I've signed up again for the Retro Store Vinyl Club subscription box. This is my July 2021 box here. It's got some Retro Store tape on it. And I'm gonna give you a little guide now about the Retro itself and how you can get one of these coming to your house every month with an exclusive discount provided by my good self. The Retro Vinyl Club is a monthly subscription box where you receive three vinyl LPs every month that are handpicked and specially curated to your own personal music taste. Postage is free and here's how you join the club. So you just go to theretro.co.uk forward slash vinyl and then you click on the monthly option and then you need to pick a minimum of three music genres but as many as you like from all these that are here then when you've picked press subscribe and you're taken to the payment page and here's the important bit make sure in the discount field there you enter the code Jimmy Barnes and that will get you 20% off your purchase but that's not all it will get you 20% off for the life of your subscription to the Retro Vinyl Club so if you want to make sure that you make this saving that you're seeing on screen right now then just keep your subscription open you'll be receiving three great records every month and it will always be a discount so don't forget code Jimmy Barnes at checkout for 20% off at the retro.co.uk forward slash vinyl enjoy so there you go code Jimmy Barnes at checkout will get you 20% off I of course get my box on a discount as well and this discount 20% it runs for the life of the subscription as well so that's 20% off every month while ever you're letting your subscription renew so um, I think that's a fantastic deal if you're a record collector and you like a bit of a mystery box as well. This is perfect. I can't wait to see what three records I've got in my first, although technically this is my second box ever, but this is the first in what I intend to be an ongoing rolling subscription. Right, so without further ado, let's get into it. So my genres... I know it recommends you pick a minimum of three, and I think I've picked five or maybe six. I can't remember. I could have picked more. And of course, if you have got a wide taste in music, and like I have, really, then pick as many as you want when you're signing up. I mean, that's the beauty of it. The more you pick, the better chance you've got of getting a real variety. So as I suspected, an outer box leads to an inner box. Quite heavy, but then again, there is three records in here really like these I'd call it a mailer I mean that's how it is really in fact I must remember for next month or later on this month I mean this is July's box but we are technically in August now as I'm shooting this but uh, I will be getting another box for August that hopefully I'll have unboxed on the channel by the end of the month but um really like that really cool brand design here uh, Peter who I speak to on Instagram, like I say, I'm keeping touch with him. 
he's done a really nice job here with the branding i think it's really stepped up in that respect since i last bought a box from the company so i'll tear this tab and i'll try and get these out one at a time where i'm not looking at them all all at once i need to see which way is the best way of me opening this there's something on top that i'm trying not to look at too much but First we've got, he does tend to do this, he throws some sort of sweet in it there, so that's uh, Swizzle's drumstick. They're nice those, I'll have that later. Oh, there's a few stickers there, like the music play, the retro stickers, fantastic. Uh, we've got a flyer there that's also about the retro. I'm trying my best not to look, I'm just going to grab the first record out here and uh, show you what I've got. Oh, right, so this is... Something I'm not familiar with, and I'm really pleased in a way. My first box that I got back in 2019 or whenever it was, I got Fleetwood Mac, great album. I got Big Audio Dynamite, great album. And I think I got Bob Seeker and the Silver Bullet Band, which was a bit of a bust for me, but um, I listened to it, it was all right. Um, this is something called Health by C. Duncan. And you know what? I've no idea who this is. This, to me, kind of reminds me a little bit of like a Bandcamp kind of indie album. You know, I unbox these from time to time, things from like Picture Playing, MRM, Time Slave Recordings, these indie albums here. I'm looking for the record label on here. Fat Cat is the record label. Never heard of C. Duncan. I like this sort of, this retro kind of sleeve. It's making me wonder if this is going to be kind of in the synthwave genre or maybe even vaporwave genre. It's got that real sort of 80s vibe to it. It's proper brand new and sealed as well, look. Uh, Peter did say that to me the other day. He said that um, he's trying to get more actual brand new stock in rather than, you know, second-hand or pre-owned stock. So I honestly couldn't say what this is, but I'm glad that I've got something completely new to discover here. I might love it, I might hate it, but that's kind of the point of this, really, for me. It's now to sort of discover not just new artists but also maybe rediscover or for the first time discover older acts that i've ignored over the years and that maybe i would like but i've just never given them a chance looking for a copyright date on i'm assuming it's a fairly new release like maybe the last year or two it's got a download code in it as well that is sort of like a hype sticker on the front there wow so even though I've no idea what anything on this album is like, or what genre it's in, I'm kind of speculating here, um, I'm actually pleased with that because that's something completely unknown for me to listen to and explore. So as far as I'm concerned, great start. By the way, I always add all my records and all my music stuff, be it on CD, cassette, mini disc, to my Discogs collection database. So. I'll be adding that and uh, it'll tell me what genre the artist is in, no doubt. Assuming the artist is in the Discog database and they usually are 99 times out of 100. Right, record number two. Let's get it out the right way. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's another one that I've never heard of. Oh, wow. Brand new again. This is on the BMG label. That's a big label. They're kind of multinational BMG but Better Lost Than Stupid with Wild Slide. I'm assuming that's the artist, that's the title. That rings a very vague bell, that name. There again, I couldn't say for certain what genre this would be. Some of these tracks, and this is split out over two records as well, as you can see, goes from side A to D. This features a few people. Um, there's a track called Without The Feeling that features Chaney. There's one called Back From The Desert that features Nathan Daisy. So, uh, could it be hip hop, maybe? This is really good. This is completely different from the box that I received before. For me personally, and your mileage will obviously vary, but this suits me down to the ground, being able to discover some proper music that I've never heard before in my life. So, uh, some nice artwork on here, sort of a weird, um, one-eyed monkey coming out of uh, like a cardboard box or something with a mouth on really strange artwork but love it so i'm wondering now if this is gonna be a box just with completely new material new albums you know albums from indie artists or lesser known stuff let's see as i get the third 
and final disc out. I don't know what this is, but I love the art. Sleeves, brilliant. So, who is this? This is Quavo, or Quavo, and Quavo Huncho. You know, I've got a feeling this could be like alternative hip-hop, you know. Ah, and in fact, I can see a Motown logo on the sleeves. So, yeah, I bet this is going to be like Neo Soul, or modern hip-hop. Which is great because hip hop isn't one of the genres as of yet when you go on the Retro's website to sign up and to and you can change your genres at any point as well, by the way. So what I did, I selected other slash world music. Could be some of these could be world music, and if so, I would be very excited by that because there's certain music from other countries that I'd really like to get into over the coming year. I've got a feeling that this is going to be some sort of rap or R&B, but like a sort of more alternative form. And that, for me, would be marvellous. If there's people out there have heard of Quavo, Quavo, or any of these artists that I've shown today, then, you know, please feel free to talk to me in the comments and educate me a bit more like i say i'll be adding all these albums to my discogs database so i'll be able to do a little bit of research after that and obviously after i've played them as well there again brand new split out over two discs and three brand new records brand new albums two of them are two lp sets as well i think that's absolutely marvelous so for this first box i can't say oh that's my favourite, I'm glad I've got that because I've never heard any of the three artists, never heard any of the three albums, everything's just going to be a completely new experience and that, to me, makes this the perfect opening box in this subscription and now I can't wait to see if I get more new music next time or a mixture of brand new music and stuff from artists that are more mainstream or that I've heard of or older acts, so yeah, I am made up here. I'm made up with this. So that was the July 2021 Retro Vinyl Subscription Box. Like I say, if you want to try this out, and as you can see, three records. For me, i got three brand new ones as well. And I do know for a fact that Peter has said he's generally trying to introduce more new records. You know, unplayed, brand new stock into the business. I recommend that you use the discount code Jimmy Barnes at checkout for 20% off and just try a box out. If it's not for you, then you've paid, what, a little over £20 for three records and you can cancel at any time. That's the beauty about this and pretty much any other subscription that goes month to month. Um, if you don't like it, just cancel. That's all you need to do. But for me, I am looking forward to a long journey over the coming months of just discovering new music, getting reacquainted with old music. So many thanks to the Retro Store there, and I can't wait for the August box. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this subscription box unboxing. And I want to give special thanks, as I always do, to my subscribers and my patrons. Please see all my referral and affiliate links down in the description. Of course, it includes a link to the retro.co.uk forward slash vinyl, where you can sign up for a vinyl subscription box. And they do other subscription boxes as well. They do one for audio cassettes and they do one for comics. They did used to do one for video games, but um, I'm not sure about that. But um, I recommend you go and follow the retro on Instagram and then have a chat with Peter yourself if there's any questions that you've got. But I will try and answer any questions about this particular vinyl subscription in the comments here if you want to leave any. I'm gonna go now and what else? I've got three brand new albums to listen to. No idea what they're gonna be like but just the excitement of discovering brand new music is one of life's pleasures, I think you'll agree. And I do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next Retro Club vinyl subscription box. Cheers, everyone. See ya!